This video explains what a page is in terms of Puppeteer, and how to create and interact with it, considering its frame. Here we go, but make sure to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and subscribe to not miss new content. The page is an API that Puppeteer exposes which represents a single tab in the browser. We usually name such an object as the page instance. This instance provides handy methods to use and events to listen in order to operate a browser tab. For example, we can select elements on the page, retrieve information about the page, wait for elements that are going to be rendered on the page and more. As a side note, the page instance could also represent a Chrome extension background so keep that in mind. Anyway, each page belongs to some browser context, which belongs to a browser instance. This means we can create multiple page instances per a single browser instance. Also, we should notice that each page has at the very least, one frame instance which is being used as its main frame. On top of that, much of the page methods are merely shortcuts to methods on its main frame. In case of other frames, we should target the frame specifically and use their respective frame instances. Now that we've a basic understanding of what a page is, let's see how to create one. As we mentioned, we need a browser instance to create a page. Before we even begin, we should be aware that the browser instance already has a page that was created during the initialization. This actually makes sense because what is the point of a browser without any tab? By the way, it can be used by accessing the first element of the result of the page's method. Nevertheless, once we have the browser instance, we can create a page instance on our own, simply by invoking the new page method. Obviously, we can also create multiple page instances by invoking this method as much as needed. And now, we're finally able to operate the page. Let's for example print the content of the main frame. As we see, the output tree is pretty empty, except head and body tags, but that's okay since we haven't performed any operation on the page. We also said that the page instance has shortcuts to methods of the main frame, so we could simplify the usage and invoke the content method directly. This is basically how to create a page and start interacting with it. Indeed, there is plenty of things we can do using the page instance, depending on our scenario of course, and therefore we will review and explain the common and useful ones in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoy, and to subscribe to my channel.